Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Sword, where today we've got a fighting gym to go to, so let's do it. Just gotta come on out here and then go on over here. And hey, would you look at that? It's a fighting gym. Wait, did I just hear a... Oh, it's this Diglett. Am I going to have to go to the ruins before I can challenge the gym? Is that what's going to happen here? Am I just allowed through? Apparently I am. But first, let's see if we can challenge the gym. It's what we're here for, after all. Yeah, sure. Yep. Oh. They've seen me on the telly, then. Well. Yes. Okay, so we can just go straight to the gym. That's good. All right, let's see what kind of gym this is other than fighting. What's our mission going to be? Ooh, it's all foggy. Pinball? Pinball? Okay, so it goes pretty quick. Like, you don't have to rotate it a lot to see a pretty good amount of motion. I'm glad we're not being timed, but somehow I got spun the opposite direction that I was rotating the control stick. That was odd. I'm guessing that teleporter is to just go back out. It'd be interesting if it auto-confused all our Pokemon. But it would also really suck. So, uh, as you can see, I taught this thing Thief instead of the move it had before. The, uh, the whatever. The one that was stronger, the more buffs it had. Because I figured Thief is three times as strong without needing to set up. So yeah, we've got Thief. Alright, looks like I still gotta... Smack this thing one more time. Ow! That was a rude crit. Thankfully this will take it down, so... Don't got to worry about our health. So why would you use a teleporter to go back to the start? Is it for like, if you missed a trainer somehow might as well just do another or is it for if you thought it was real fun and you want to go again
Oh, okay. We need to get ourselves punched way up. Made it. Yeah, we can't squeeze behind him, so it's not for if you missed a trainer. I guess it's just for if you want to ride the teacups again. So much for that, bird. Oh, and you'll note I've got my Farfetch'd with me. I taught it Focus Energy because someone told me that it evolves by critting a lot. Seems weird, but whatever. Of course, I'd actually have to use it in combat to get those crits. Okay, so we gotta get to the left. Which means first we gotta get over here, get punched up. Now we can go left, but we gotta... get punched down, I guess, and then... Oh, that doesn't get us high enough, so we gotta... get to the left. And then we'll get punched way up, and then we gotta spin to the right. No, keep spinning to the right. I did not switch the direction of my spin. It's just, I guess I wasn't spinning quite fast enough. Well, that was a fun little finish. Hello, sir. Well, shame you're going to fail at your job, then. Are you also going to have a Hitmonchan? What about Hitmon Top, huh? Yeah, knockoff is better, or, well, slightly better than Brutal Swing, I guess. I was thinking knockoff was a fighting move, but it's not. We need another fighting move besides Rock Smash on Farfetch'd. It's embarrassing that that's his only same type attack bonus move. So, he did have Hitmonchan, but no Hitmon Top. Because I guess the entire world just forgets Hitmon Top exists. Honestly, I'd rather it didn't. It's annoying to get. Need to have your Tyrogue having the same attack and defense when it hits level 20 or higher. What's liquidation again? Okay. I mean, it's stronger than Snipe Shot. And at this point, I don't think I need Tearful Look, so I'll just keep them both. Keeping Snipe Shot just in case there's a Storm Drain in a multi-battle or something, I guess. You're welcome. Ooh. Hopefully it'll gain more defense once it's evolved, because... Its defense is very low right now. Well, that's a look, I guess. When it gets down on all fours as if to beg for forgiveness, it's trying to lure opponents in so that it can stab them with its spear-like hair. Okay. Oh, yes, please. What is this? 
Also, let's look at your stats. Hey, you gained a little defense. A lot of special attack. Why do you keep getting physical moves if your special attack is so much higher than your physical attack? But I mean, hey. 80 power never misses. I'll take that over assurance. I mean, assurance is only going to be stronger if we're doing, like, double battles, so, yeah. Don't really do too many of those while playing through the story. Does this thing only have one nostril? It looks like it only has one nostril. did it. Hi, B. Sure. Hope you're ready to lose. So this one, I've got type advantages. I can probably beat her without ever Dynamaxing. Especially if I set up, because... Yeah, we can just hone claws with Corvusquire, who has a type advantage. He's also decently quick, too, so... Yeah, good job countering. Keep doing that. See how it goes for you. And let's hone our claws once more. Just gonna sweep right through her team. And now to protect our investment, we're gonna use the super potion. And then we'll commence the sweep. I guess she learned that I wasn't attacking. Real peck time. I did not need that to be a crit. Hmm. Tangoro. That guy is pretty bulky if memory serves, but with our three attack boosts, we should be fine. Yep. Hooray for levels. Oh, you've got a surfetched? I want it. I mean, look at that. How can you not want that? Of course, it's gone now. So, what is your ace in the hole? What is your final Pokemon? I'm a champ. Okay. Well, she's going to Dynamax it. But I don't know that I have to care. Gigantamax. Gigantamax Machamp? What, is it going to get more arms? No, it's just going to get, like, 
super energetic arms and pants. Ooh, we didn't one-shot it. Well, this is probably going to kill Corvusquire. Or not. Okay. I mean, I knew it wouldn't be very effective, but... Oh, and it increased your crit chance for subsequent moves. That's something. But yeah. I expected it to hurt more, what with it coming from a super massive Machamp. I would have imagined that attack stat to be worth a little more. Oh. Hooray, we get a Corviknight. Sure is neat looking. Is it going to learn Steel Wing now? This Pokemon reigns supreme in the skies of the Galar region. The black luster of its steel body could drive terror into the heart of any foe. All right. Okay, good. Kind of dumb and it's not allowed to learn Steel Wing until it evolves. Yeah, we really don't need Fury Attack, so... There we go. You're welcome. Uh, you say you battled against my team, but it was just Corvusquire. All right, thanks. I do like how you actually shake hands with all the gym leaders after beating them. It's a nice show of sportsmanship. I guess revenge is okay. But can I teach it to anyone that matters? Okay, I can. Because, yeah, it's better than Rock Break or Rock Smash. At least in terms of initial damage. Sure, Rock Smash will be better from the second use on. Well, the same from the second use and then better afterward. But still, especially if Farfetch ends up being slower than the opponent, Revenge is going to be way better. And Corviknight can learn it. That might be worth doing. But what would I replace? I'm pretty set with these, actually. Yeah. All right. We won. Oh, we got more fans. About work. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Kaboom. Should I have looked earlier? 
Are they gonna be all busted now? Well, first... I need to boost straight into a wall. But then... Pokemon Center. Painted over the ruins. So I guess that's what the elephant evolves into. Maybe you shouldn't be destroying artwork and also yeah I should have come up here earlier I'm not here to collect wishing stars I'm here to stop you from being a jerk good on you for evolving your thing Going from keen eye to pressure is not necessarily the best thing to have happen, considering how much NPCs like to use sand attack and the like. Okay. A little unfortunate that you've used Reflect. Especially when I don't have Brick Break, but... We should still be able to beat this thing in two attacks, so... Actually, maybe not. Either way, Corviknight resists Psychic, so... This won't hurt that much. Alright, get on out of here with that. keep Corviknight in. Even though that Reflect is going to be a little unpleasant, we'll just work our way through it. It's not going to last forever after all, and we do resist their moves. Okay, a little unfortunate that we ended up confused, but Reflect is gone. And there we go. What else you got? Hatchrum. I mean, it's got hat in the name, so maybe it's the evolution of Hatena. In which case, it's going to be Fairy Psychic? So Dark is going to be neutrally effective. But, like, I don't really have... Wait, I do have steel. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Don't hurt yourself. Good. What move is that? That? Meh. Did Steel Wing not do super effective damage? Did it lose its fairy typing?
Well, let's thief it. Did it lose its fairy typing? Or did it never have fairy typing and I'm mistaken? Okay, Galarian Ponyta, we know for a fact that that's psychic type. Or is it Psy Fairy? I don't know. I'm going to use Morgrim because I want to. Uh, yes, I do, because you don't have the power you need to defeat me. And let's false surrender. And this time, let's sucker punch. Oh. Hoist yourself on my petard. Why are you... What do you have against attacking me? There we go. Um, okay. It'll have the same result, though. Why didn't you use your elephant? Hmm, maybe you're not. You know, the past is also important. Like, if there's ways to preserve the future without destroying the past, you should seek them out. gonna withdraw your endorsement thinking that Rose might end up secretly being the leader of an evil team bent on something or other. That's why he was gathering wishing stars, but nah, seems he's on the up and up when it's just the guy he endorsed who's gonna go all villain on us. It's dogs with a sword and a shield. The kings were actually dogs. 
Or, no, wait, there's kings behind the dogs. The sword and the shield were actually the Pokemon. Pokemon? Same as the tapestries. Uh, because legends get warped over time. They're, they're both Pokemon. Why can't I answer both? But this is sword version, so... Good question. I guess. Oh, thanks. Hmm. I guess I'll never get to see what the ruin or what the mural looked like before it was painted over. Okay, well, doesn't look like there's anything left for me to do here. So that is going to be it for this episode. Join us next time when we start making our way to the next gym. See you then, friends. <laughs>